Mm-hmm. All right, let's go for it. What's up guys so we packed up as you can see we packed up and we moved we finally made it out of maryland albeit we're not that far from maryland matter of fact well i'll, I'll give you a, a funny on that in a second so we arrived we are currently in a place called bear delaware we're only about i don't know 20 miles outside of wilmington delaware and uh about 30 miles or 35 miles north of dover delaware we're going to do a few things here. I'm going to take this opportunity because, as you can see behind me, it is absolutely coming down. It is, is raining. We're expecting severe weather. Uh, so cross your fingers on those. Severe weather in a camper is never a good thing. But uh, we're going to do the best we can. We're going to do the best we can. So we are at Lums Pond State Park in Bear, Delaware. You know me, if you follow my channel, I am a huge fan of state parks. And I have to tell the truth, this one is right up there with the best ones we've stayed at. This is $25 a night, full hookup. The spaces are absolutely incredibly huge, super wide. Our neighbor, which actually left, our neighbor is probably, I don't know, 40, 50 yards away to the front door and another 40, 50 yards away behind us. So there's a lot of room, a lot of room, a lot, lot of space. It, uh, it's obviously on a pond. It, they call it a pond, but it looks like a huge lake. It has comfort stations, although I have not been in them. If I go in it, I will fill you guys in on that. There are 72, there are 72 RV spots, some pull-throughs, some back ends we are on site 69 which happens to be a backup site or a back end site and uh it has it's like i said it had full hookup a lot of space this place doesn't it's a state park doesn't have pool or anything like that it does however have a store which is kind of unusual for a state park and it has laundromat and a playground for the kids and like i mentioned also the uh the pond overall for 25 dollars a night you cannot beat this place it is very nice very comfortable and we like it we like it. it's a thumbs up for this park but uh starting tomorrow tomorrow we're expecting even even worse weather so unsure what we're going to do then but whatever it is that we do while we're here in bear delaware we will share it with you guys all right, so another day and the journey continues. We are still here in Bear, Delaware. Uh, like I mentioned uh, a few segments ago, we haven't had the best of weather. It's been very, very bad. Uh, a lot of a lot of thunderstorms. So we really yesterday was a down day. Today we are going to go exploring. One of the reasons we stayed in Bear, Delaware. Del Bear, Delaware is up in the northern part of Delaware, very close to. Maryland on one side and Philadelphia or Pennsylvania on the northern side. Today we're going to go do Independence Walk or Constitutional Walk in Philly, which is only like 50 minute drive away. We're going to go check that out, some place that we've been wanting to do for a while. And while we're there, we're also going to be visiting the University of Pennsylvania, which is one of the schools that Kaylee applied for, for vet school. So we're going to go check that out. And tomorrow, if the weather permits and allows, we'll drive south and go visit Dover, Delaware. There's a museum there that I'm really interested in checking out. But whatever we do today, we're going to share it with you guys. All right, so we made it out to Philly. 
a quick drive, not a big deal. The only problem that we are encountering here in Philly, which I thought we were gonna encounter, which we did in Washington, DC. We encountered it in Virginia Beach and Norfolk. The toughest part we encountered was parking. I found, believe it or not, an underground parking garage. The guy took care of us. We are, it, it literally is right here at Independence Hall. So we got really lucky. But Myrna and Kaylee are in Independence Hall. We had to buy $1 tickets to get in there. The problem is no pets allowed. So I'll stay outside. So whatever footage you get, don't blame me. Whatever footage you get is from my partner in crime, Kaylee, who's in there taking photos. morning I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that we brought to you guys from Philly my summary on Philly busy city very busy city a lot of a lot of moving around There's a lot of people uh, in that city a lot of things going on it was a great opportunity for Kaylee to uh, visit Penn, Penn University of Penn Pennsylvania I can tell you this she wasn't a fan not anything really to do with the school itself just just the way it is situated it is right in the hustle and bustle of the city and if that's what you're into then I guess that's a great school Kaylee not so much but that's it we were we got in there and we you know we got to visit a few things explore the city a little bit but today is another day today I am actually riding solo uh, the girls stayed back at the uh, camper doing, I don't know, girl stuff, I guess. I am going to, or I already jumped in the truck. I'm in it right now. And I am going to make that 45-minute drive south to Dover, Delaware. And I am going to do a little exploring at the Air Mobility Command Museum in Dover, Delaware. Let's go.
before I head in here, I wanted to say a few things. Uh, I'm not necessarily an aircraft enthusiast. You know, there are people that uh, know the ins and outs of these things. But I am a military enthusiast. I love everything to do with our military. And I, I can't come this far or be in Delaware and pass up this opportunity. So that's what I'm gonna go do in here. And I'm gonna share some pictures and videos just in case you're an aircraft, a military aircraft enthusiast. Just did the tower. I'm outside now. I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at some of the aircraft. I am here on a Wednesday. No, I'm sorry. I'm here on a Thursday. Uh, just a little bit of information if you ever want to come out here. Like I mentioned before, this place is open Wednesday through Sunday, and on Saturdays, all these aircraft that I'm gonna show you guys, they're all open and they have tour guides inside. Because today is a Thursday, there's only three open, so. I'm gonna go check those out. So this behind me is a C-141B. It is one of the aircrafts that is open today. Let's go in and check it out. Things are massive.
here's one aircraft that my camera lens on my phone, which you guys know I do everything on my phone, is not big enough. Not big enough to capture the whole aircraft. Very, very impressive. This thing is massive. Let's go check it out. I think this is one of the aircraft that's open. It's a uh, C-5A.
right, I am done here at the Air Mobility Command Museum in Dover, Delaware. It's just on the uh, south side of Dover Air Force Base. Very impressive. You don't have to be a aircraft enthusiast to enjoy this. Again, it is free. The parking is free. You can, uh, you can help out by buying a few little things at the uh, gift store or make a donation. I will tell you this, on the way out, you must, it is a must, that you go down the Medal of Honor hallway and read, stop and read some of the stories. Very, very humbling, very, very humbling, excellent experience, and I really enjoyed having coming out here. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the footage that I brought you guys from the Air Mobility Command Center. Let me tell you, fantastic place. If you're ever in the Dover, Delaware area, that is a must. You must go there. But now we're done. We're done with Delaware. Tomorrow's a move day. We're going to jump in the car and we're going to head over to New Jersey. We're going to a place called Dorothy, New Jersey. Although that may not sound familiar to a lot of you folks, unless you live there. It is about 15 miles outside of Atlantic City, New Jersey. I'm sure that sounds familiar. But before we move on, we got to put Delaware on the map. It is a very, very little sticker. And again, Kaylee's going to do the honors. So here we go. Delaware is going on the map. She might need a pair of tweezers to hold this state. It's so tiny. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. All right. So Delaware is on the map. 